Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. This is the FH5 Update 27, the American Automotive Update. It is a massive update. We have 12 new cars, new wide bodies, new customization, and new racetrack. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Before we get into the new update, though, we do need to thank the sponsor of today's video, Nobody, which is a massive skill issue. So consider checking out the AR12 sticker store where you can get things like this, or due to popular requests, a D420 sticker. Everything in the AR12 store has free shipping, so go check it out. There's a link in the description down below. Let's jump into the new update. And let's start it off with the festival playlist. There are eight cars that you can unlock this month. And let's start it off with this thing. This is the 2023 Chevy Corvette Z06 that you can unlock by getting 20 points in the summer season. I absolutely love the new Z06. It is an absolutely insane car that delivers supercar performance without the supercar price tag. Well, I guess that depends on how screwed over you get with dealer markup, which... Uh, moving on. One thing I am interested in finding out, though, is the E-Ray. I made a video on this thing, like, last month or so. That has a really cool wide body in Forza Horizon 5. The regular C8 Corvette also has a very cool wide body kit. I don't actually know if the new Corvette Z06 has a cool wide body kit. We will find out on Thursday. Subscribe if you want to see that video. That's not the only new car you can unlock this week, though, because every week this month, there are two new cars coming in the festival playlist. And the second car you can unlock this week is this, the 1964 Plymouth Belvedere. We don't actually know anything about this car just yet. The only thing that we know is it's got a massive 7 liter V8 engine. We have no idea what upgrades are available for it, but I'm super excited to find out. In real life, this thing was an awesome race car back in the day. In 1964, at the Daytona 500, it finished first, second, and third, driven by the one and only Richard Petty, who won the race driving one of these things. I'm super hyped to see if it's got any cool upgrades that kind of allow us to turn it into a homemade NASCAR. That'd be really cool. We'll find out though, also on Thursday. If we move away from the summer season and into the autumn, this is where we start to get some copy pasting in week two. We're not gonna spend too much time on these cars since we have so many cars we need to talk about, but for getting 20 points in the autumn season, you'll unlock this, the 1966 Chevy Nova SS, an awesome looking and awesome drag car. It's been in pretty much every Forza game dating back to basically Forza Motorsport 4. And for getting 40 points in the autumn season, you can unlock this, the 1968 Pontiac Firebird. This thing was in Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon 4. It's a beautiful looking car with this like Coke bottle shape. Super, super fun. And I guarantee it's gonna have some massive engine swaps in Horizon 5. So if we kind of skip our way through the autumn season, we'll arrive at the winter season, and this is where we get some very cool stuff again. Like this, the 2024 Lucid Air Sapphire that you can unlock by getting 20 points in the winter season. This thing is a monster. In real life, the Lucid Air is a fantastic, beautiful looking car, but the name Sapphire is what's special about this thing. You know how Tesla has the Tesla Model S Plaid and how it has like a thousand horsepower or something like that? Well, Lucid saw that and went, yeah, we can do better. So this thing, I'm not even joking, has a thousand two hundred and thirty four horsepower and nearly a thousand five hundred foot pounds of torque, making it faster zero to 60 than the Model S Plaid at 1.89 seconds. That is insane. That's scary. Cars like this honestly blow my mind because if you rewind the clocks about 37 years to when the Nissan GTR R35 came out, that thing came out and it had like a zero to 60 time of about three seconds. And everybody was like, well, that's never gonna be beaten. That's just, that's insane. And then now in 2023, these luxury sedans have a zero to 60 time that is nearly twice as fast, which is just, it's just crazy. The car's made in California. I love this thing. I cannot wait to try it out. I wonder, are we going to get a Rimac engine swap or a motor swap for this thing? Maybe. The second car that you can unlock in the winter season is this, the 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge. It is finally back. It's one of my personal favorite muscle cars of all time. The Judge has been in a ton of older Forza games, so it's not new, but it's a super cool car 
and I'm very excited it's coming back in this new update. If we spring away from the winter season and into well, spring, there are two more cars for us to unlock in the festival playlist. This is the 2010 Rossian Q1 that you can unlock by getting 20 points. This thing's been in Forza Motorsport 4 and Forza Horizon 4, and you might remember my video on it in Forza Horizon 4 because it was one of the fastest cars in the game. It had absurd engine swaps, an absurd amount of downforce, and it weighs basically nothing, and it made it one of the fastest cars in the game. And you're probably gonna end up unlocking it because the second car in the spring season is this. The 1962 Lincoln Continental. I never expected to see this thing back from Forza Motorsport 4. You know when you hear people toss out the term, oh, that car's a land yacht. No, this, this is a land yacht. It has a 7 liter V8 engine that somehow only produces 300 horsepower. It does have 460 foot pounds of torque, but it needs all of that torque because there's, um, there's a little problem with it. Well, a big problem with it. It weighs 5,000 pounds. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm actually super excited for this thing to come out because I think with the right engine swaps and some pretty severe weight reduction, I think it could be a really fun drag racing car. So those are the eight new cars coming to Forza Horizon 5 this month in the festival playlist. And if you want my honest opinion, it's a little bit disappointing. Out of those eight cars, only two of them are all new to Forza. Considering this is supposed to be like the big bad American muscle month, I was expecting to see things like the new Dodge Demon 170, the Mustang Dark Horse, the Ram TRX, or even the Raptor R, things like that would have made a little bit more sense to me. Not to worry though, we still have four more cars to talk about. We'll come to those in a second though, because before that, we have four new road racetracks scattered around the map for you to go and take part in, both in single player, multiplayer, and in rivals, if you want to do any of that. And good news, the Oval Racetrack is coming back to the stadium in free roam. So if you want to drive around the Oval Racetrack with your friends, now will be a great time to do it. That is also not all, because we also have some new customization coming to the game. We have 27 new HRE wheels coming to the game and three new Forza wide body kits, specifically for the 1987 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, the 2016 Shelby GT350R, and the 2017 Camaro ZL1. All three of those are getting new wide body kits. I'm actually gonna be checking them out tomorrow here on the channel, so uh, again, make sure you're subscribed. And now we can get into the four remaining cars because this month there is another paid DLC pack called the American Automotive Car Pack. You get four cars for five US dollars. If you purchase it, you'll get the cars in the game completely for free. And if you, like me, was expecting some serious American cars coming to the update, well, this is the place you're gonna find them. Starting off with this thing, the 2017 Celine S7 LM. Essentially, Celine took a standard Celine S7 and um, decided, yeah, that's not fast enough. So they decided to give it a 1,300 horsepower from a 7-liter V8 engine. And apparently that wasn't good enough either because they also fitted it with tires thicker than your mum and a rear wing powerful enough to give it enough downforce to actually drive upside down. And you already know I'm gonna try that. Car number two in the pack is this, a 1961 DeBerti Ford Ecoline shop run. It's essentially a van, a hippie van, but with 850 horsepower. The DeBerti boys built this with one purpose in mind, not for delivering packages, but for delivering L's from stoplight. It's also got flames on the front of it, which just look really cool. And it's also like made of uh, steel. I guess it's steel. I don't, it's this really cool looking finish. It looks fantastic. Vehicle number three in this new update is this, the 2020 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. It is finally here. I don't know why the Forza Horizon developers have waited so long to give us a new modern pickup truck. I am so excited to see this Silverado here. If you actually compare the Trail Boss to a regular Silverado, this one's really cool. It's got like a two inch lift. It's got locking differentials, these big chunky off-road tires, and a little bit extra horsepower than the regular one. 
All in all, it's an awesome off-roader. And the fourth and final new car is probably the craziest one of all. This is the 2024 C Zinger 21C. This is a car from the future. Everything I'm about to say is real and it blows my mind that I'm even saying this. This car was designed by an AI. It's made of 3D printed bodywork. It has 1,350 horsepower and it's the world's fastest production car. The guys from Seizinger actually took this thing out to Laguna Seca in California to see how fast it could go. Most people think a McLaren Senna is a quick car. The McLaren Senna lapped Laguna Seca in a minute 27 seconds. The Seizinger did it a minute and 25 seconds. We are gonna be trying this thing out tomorrow. I'm so hyped to see how insane it actually is. Other than that, we got a sneak preview of what's coming next month, which is the Winter Wonderland update in December. It includes Secret Santa, new racetrack, and new cars. And I really hope the developers blanket all of Mexico in a winter wonderland. Give us snow, give us ice. How hard could it be? Thanks for watching. See you next time.